Hey guys, I'm Abil back again with another video on the Samsung App 13. In this video, I'm going to talk about the general performance of this device if you are using it as your daily driver, whether you can have a seamless performance or it is a bit slow. Okay, to check that, what I'm going to do will be checking the speed of this device, yeah, the RAM management, and we will also throttle it to see that if you can do multitasking on it or not. So I believe that if you're thinking of buying this device, then this video is going to help you. And if it does, then do subscribe for more contents. And those who have already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. It comes with Exynos 850 processor clogged at 2 GHz and I have this 4GB, 128GB variant. Now, to be honest, when I started using it, as I'm using iPhone 12, I found it a bit uh, slow. The UI is not that responsive, to be honest. Now, to see that whether you can do multitasking on it or not, let's first run the throttling test on it. So let's start this and start the test. Okay, let's see. Now, initially, yeah, you can see good, you know, oh, you know, within just uh, 11 seconds, you can see, you know, the yellow lines they have started. So, which is not a good sign. Yeah. So, let's wait. So, it took uh, 15 minutes to complete the test and you can see that uh, the CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance. So it is not that bad considering the price of this device. It is actually good. Now let's see, you know, by loading some apps. Okay. And we'll see the RAM management now. Okay. Let's, first of all, let's see if anything is running in the background. There's nothing in the background. Now let's start with some general apps. Camera. Yes. It took a second. Settings. Yeah. You can see the white screen before the pop-up. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. Photos. Chrome. It took around two seconds, two, three seconds. Now let's open this web page. Okay, YouTube. You can see that the gesture transitions, they're not that seamless, yeah. A kind of stutter is there. Okay, Netflix. Okay, now this game. Obviously, this is not meant for gaming, yeah. But let's see that uh, how long, you know, does it take to load this game? And if you're using this device, then let me know your thoughts about it, about the performance here. Yeah. You can see that it is actually taking longer than usual. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the rendering actually does depend on the stories used on this one. They haven't uh, actually uh, mentioned it officially, but I believe that it is not EFS 2 or 3. Yeah, it is actually older version, I would say. So as a result, you can see that it takes time to load the game. Yeah. And obviously, if your priority is gaming, then you should go for devices with the uh, you know, Snapdragon processor or Diamond City processor, not uh, Exynos, obviously. Yeah, so you can see that it is actually taking longer. Yeah, so let's minimize it. And you can see that this gesture is not uh, that fluid here. Yeah. yeah, now let's do one thing to check the RAM management. Let's just uh, wait for five minutes. 
what I'm going to do, I'll leave this phone idle and after five minutes, I'll check the windows again. So now let's check and we'll see that uh, whether, you know, the RAM management is really well, you know, optimized. And obviously, uh, most of us, we don't do this, that we actually keep the, you know, apps open and then we lock the device, but to stress it, I've done it. Now let's see that uh, you can see that these are the apps which are in the background. Okay, now let's go to YouTube. Yeah, it is there. Yeah, good. Now, yeah, Chrome. Oh, still there. It is actually not fully reloading. That's really good. Oh, it is also good. Photos, I believe it is reloading. Yeah, it is reloading. Yeah, it is reloading. Uh, camera yeah it is also reloaded then phone app in the memory yeah then prime video in the memory that's good yeah then Netflix yeah okay so you can see that um, the RAM management is not bad yeah actually it can hold the apps in the memory so if you are actually using multiple apps you won't be having any problem here Okay, so the RAM management is good, but as I can say that um, it uh, it doesn't come with any high refresh rate, the UI response is not that swift. Yeah, you, particularly if you are using the gesture modes, you will see that uh, it is a bit uh, laggy. Okay, but you won't feel it because if you are someone who hasn't used uh, the higher refresh rate, then you won't uh, feel that. But yes, um, I have tried uh, many devices, so I can say that even at the moment I'm using iPhone 12, though that that doesn't come with higher refresh rate, but the UI, uh, you know, the transitions are really fluid. Okay, so here I can say that uh, the UI is a bit laggy. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's not like that uh, you will be annoyed uh, because of that it is actually good and if you're someone who likes you know this Samsung's one UI then you will enjoy otherwise uh, you have other devices with higher refresh rate and better performance at the moment at this price point but this one is going to is going to cost you around 12,000 so at this price point you should go for it only if you you know you are actually going to buy samsung device otherwise i can say that you will get other devices with better performance yeah but the overall performance is satisfactory not bad the ram management is also really good but uh, yes the ui to some extent uh, you will feel that it is not that super fast okay so according to me um, if you are a heavy user then you should avoid this yeah and uh, if you are looking for a device to give to your parents then this is a perfect device because you have a clean you know ui and it is actually good and if you don't want to buy any other chinese devices then you should go for it okay so that's it in this video and i believe that this video is going to help you and if it does then do let me know in the comments and if you end up liking my videos then do subscribe and share your thoughts so till the next video guys cheers